Well, they tried real hard with this whole Taiwan election, didn't they? Yeah, so here's what happened. What's going on here, by the way? I'm going to explain everything to you just in case you missed it, and I'm going to do it in a, in a beautiful, concise format, and I'm going to turn this into a very fun segment. Okay. They're, leading up to the Taiwan yeah. election, they were basically saying, you know, if the the DPP wins, the Democratic Party, basically, yeah. which, which are the good guys, okay, yeah. in Taiwan, if they win, then... Taiwan is now a secessionist uh, state, and they need to be uh, basically attacked. Yeah, I mean, this is what they've been alluding to yeah. for the entire time, right? So here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Guess who won? China Guess really who won? thought yeah. that they Oops. weren't going to win, right? Yeah. They really, really thought. Well, they were, this through. they were putting the pressure on. I mean, yeah. if you've been reading the news, if you've been on Twitter or anything like that, China has been... Oh, well, China's been going on about like... This is a final red line. This yeah. cannot be crossed. Yeah. Again, they love their red line bullshit. But they were literally saying that you, you know, this, you cannot support this in any way, shape, or form. Any government who, or any like entity that endorses this or talks about it or whatever, whatever is on the absolute shit list of China and they're yeah. going to be punished. You well, know? here's the deal. It showed China's confidence that they could meddle in the election. They were like so focused on making sure that somebody more sympathetic to China's causes to yeah. take back Taiwan eventually would yeah. be the one that won. And they really, I think they really, really thought that they could pull that off. Yeah. But the real winner in this entire election was not just William Lai and the DPP. It was the entire concept of democracy when it's under attack by the biggest and scariest government in the world. They've been trying to uh, strong arm Taiwan into basically giving up and saying, okay, we'll just capitulate to yes. Beijing and let you invade us and take us over. Can you go back to that graph I had there? Sure. Yeah. Also, before we even continue, I just have to remind everyone, you hear this word reunification go around a lot when it comes mm. to Taiwan. That's the Chinese Beijing side. They say Taiwan must be reunified with the mainland China. It was never unified, so it can't be reunified. It's impossible. It was never a part of mainland China. No. Quick, quick, quick brief history. There was a civil war. The communists and the nationalists fought. The nationalists went to the island of Taiwan, which was not part of China, like communist China, because communist China didn't even exist. No. They went there. They set up over there. Then communist China was founded in mainland China, yep. once the nationalists had fled to the island of Taiwan. And then... The communist Chi Chinese government destroyed China, destroyed the history, destroyed, and everyone starved to death and all that nonsense. Taiwan grew into a very vibrant uh, democracy. It went through some growing pains. There was a lot of crap that happened there too, a lot of dictatorship nonsense, but it broke out of that. They started to develop high tech, the high tech industry. A lot of electronics come out of Taiwan. The best semiconductors and, and chips come out of Taiwan. And that's something they did themselves. Has nothing to do with mainland China. Uh, with communist China and never has had anything to do with communist China. Yeah. So we have to always remember that these are two separate countries that diverged. They're the same people, right? Yeah. But they're two, there are two different countries that went on two separate paths. Yeah. And communist China has absolutely no claim over Taiwan. Yes. Now, there are three uh, parties in Taiwan that get most of the votes. There's the Taiwan's People's Party, the Democratic Progressive Party, and the Kuomintang. Now, the third one, the most this is the most important for you to understand. The Kuomintang was the nationalist party yes, that, that ran fled. away from China and went to Taiwan to establish the Republic of China. Yes. They were led by Chiang Kai-shek, evil dictator. Mm -hmm. And Taiwan had to go through many, many, many struggles and horrible human rights abuses under the, that government, under yes, Chiang Kai-shek. Yes until they were able to make a multi-party democracy, which is one of the most fully-fledged, thought-out multi-party democracies mm -hmm. in the entire world mm -hmm. now. In fact, I would say they're a role model not only for the world, but even America. Now, we have this full-fledged democracy that China's trying to overturn at all times because they look at China like a secessionist territory, right? It's not, it's their own, right? You can't have elections in a place that we own. That's China's yeah, exactly, idea, right? Yeah. The CCP's idea. Now, the irony of this is that Taiwan is wealthier than China. Yes. Uh, Taiwan is about tenfold on any freedom index more free than China. Yeah. Uh, freedom of speech, democracy. They don't voting. censor the internet there. No, they don't censor the internet. And, and they, probably they, most I, importantly for a communist yeah. country like uh, like China, they have Taiwan has a ton of social programs. Yeah, they have like free health care. Yeah. yeah, they've got great health care that's free for everyone and that type of thing. Yes, yeah, all the stuff that you're supposed yeah. to do as a Which socialist or communist China country. China doesn't yeah. have that. Yeah. So, oh, and don't forget, they also kept all of the Chinese traditions and, yes. and religions yeah. and 
culture, culture. Yeah. which mainland China destroyed. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Mao Zedong went around and destroyed it. You cannot forget that part. Yeah. So Taiwan is what you could call a real experience, real Chinese experience. And to me, the first time I went to Taiwan after I first went to mainland China, that's mm-hmm. where I lived, right? Yeah. And the first time I went to Ch- uh, Taiwan, I was blown away because yeah. I finally saw the things I was expecting to see in China, yeah. as in dragons and temples and traditions and lion dances and all this stuff. I saw it in Taiwan. I was like, now that's what I was expecting. Yeah. But in China, it was literally just concrete, you know, stupid apartment buildings and, and rundown nonsense where there was culture once. Yes. You know? Yes. You know, it's uh, ironic as well. What? Um, there was this great article. It's in the description, I believe. But it was, it's following these mainlanders and their journey through Taiwan as tourists. And they, uh, they went to see what happened during the White Terror. And the White Terror was from 1947 to 1987 yeah. in Taiwan, where the dictatorship there was super paranoid about Chinese spies and things like that from mainland. Yeah. And was hyper, hyper like focused on eradicating all that stuff amongst their own populace in Taiwan, which led to a lot of murders. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of people were executed, right? Yeah. It was nowhere near mainland China's brutality, like but they had tens their own. Of millions. Yeah, they had their own version mm. of, of such a thing, right? And it's yeah. funny because the, the Chinese tourists that went there, um, seeing this, it's almost like a thing that China wants them to see because it's like, oh, they had their own kind of brutal thing. But it's interesting. There's this quote from uh, a Chinese journalist that was there. Yeah. Uh, in Taiwan, seeing this stuff, seeing this museum or whatever uh, in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And she says, so this is a mainland Chinese. She said, although it may seem like traveling backwards in time for people in Taiwan, for us, it's the present. So they see, (laughs) they're they're aware of what they're seeing. Yeah, because it's happening. historical moment is happening right now in China, right? Yeah, they're trying to root out spies. They're doing all sorts of things, you know, in mainland China. Yeah, so fast forwarding to the election, that Kuomintang, that Mm -hmm. nationalist party is, has since transformed into, uh, you know, it's a a pro-democracy party now. It's not pro-dictatorship anymore. However, one thing that remains true is that they've always been more sympathetic with reunification with China. Doesn't They don't say under the CCP. They don't they say under their... They, I, technically, they mean own, under their own government, I guess. Sure, sure. But it's one of those weird status quo things where China prefers them, by and large, because they don't really rock the boat. As yeah, much. they don't really push back against the CCP. Right. They're not pro-independence. They're not like Taiwan is a country, but they're yeah. like, we operate on our own terms. Sure. Whereas the DPP, that the one that won with yeah. William Lai there and former President Tsai Ing-wen, yes, that party is much more focused on moving towards a Taiwanese identity, not the Republic of China, not China with a different flavor. Yeah, Taiwan is Taiwan, and Taiwan, Taiwan is, is its Taiwan. own thing. Taiwan's yeah. got its own culture, it's got its own currency, language, and history. It doesn't have anything to do with China. Yeah, and that's the favorite party and of that's, Taiwan, and that's fact. And that's that's and you are true. Yes, it is fact. <laughs> yes, you can, yeah, and that is autonomous. And that is autonomous. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Seriously though, when you travel to Taiwan, it does have different money. It does have different laws. Mm. It's got. Everything's different about the place. Yes. You need a passport to go there, a different visa. It's not mainland China in any way, shape, or form. No. At all. No. So I want to go to this quote. I want to start off this report with this quote from China to give you a little uh, a tangible feeling of, okay. what, <laughs> of what they sure. want to respond with. Mm-hmm. So shortly after uh, Lai Ching-te, so that's, that's William Lai, the winner mm-hmm. of the DPP, you know, the, his party won the election, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it was a huge turnout in Taiwan. The whole world was watching. So you're saying the win was a lie. It was lie. It was lie, not <laughs> a lie. It was a lie, yeah. A uh, lie won. A lie won, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was, this is a quote from Beijing's Taiwan Affairs Office, which okay. I have to remind you is there's an office of the CCP that's called Taiwan Affairs, meaning that we own Taiwan, but we have a separate office that deals with that mess. All right. It says, the results of this election in the Taiwan region, they have to say region. Yeah, yeah show that the DPP, the winning party, does not represent mainstream public opinion. So, hold on, let's back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're telling me mm-hmm. that the party that won a democratic election yeah. doesn't represent the mainstream public opinion. The party that got mainstream public support doesn't represent the mainstream public opinion. Maybe they're talking about the China, like mainland China mainstream public opinion. Even if you meant that. Yeah. China should fire whoever (laughs) is the spokesperson for this because that has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And Chinese people agree with me. For example, let me read you some of this. Okay. This quote from here was put out on on Weibo, right? Yes. 
So, and the Chinese internet was,、mm-hmm. was put out there, and people were reading this in China. And you would expect people to either be silent on this or、yeah. maybe be like, yeah, screw Taiwan. It's ours,、mm-hmm. right? That's not what happened. Okay, what did people say? <laughs> They had to scrub the hell out of the Chinese internet because Chinese people thought this was very dumb. Yes. Quote, oh my gosh, can you stop lying to yourself? <laughs> Next. Yeah. So, getting elected by one person, one vote doesn't represent mainstream public opinion. Is this what comes out of your mouth still human language? <laughs> Next. I love it. Understood. As long as it's not 100%, it doesn't represent the mainstream. And do you know why? That's actually a rich, very rich quote. I want you to go to the next picture here and you'll see、okay. why that's so funny. Okay. I want you guys to remember this、uh, beautiful election. A wonderful, wonderful election in China that、uh, you guys probably still remember. Oh, yes. When Xi Jinping, <laughs> oh, he's going to, should he, let's vote whether he gets a next term of yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, who's for it? 2,952. Who's against it? Zero. Who's, who abstains? Zero. <laughs> that is Chinese democracy, like mainland China. And it's only the top party yeah, members yeah, can let's, vote. Let's like not even, you're making it sound too good because、mm-hmm. this is not a democratic vote, guys. No. This is the top CCP officials. The、yes. people don't get to vote on、no. this. The Taiwan election was the people、mm-hmm. as, a, as a majority, right? Yes. This is an election by the top CCP officials. So amongst the top CCP officials, they couldn't even have one dude. I mean, if I was trying to pretend to be a dictator, I've already gotten rid of democracy. It doesn't exist, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The people aren't voting, but at least my chair people are. Yes. I would at least sprinkle in maybe 10, 20. Yeah, get a cu- just show a little bit of yeah, like a doubt. Dissent. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, an overwhelming majority. They couldn't even do one. Do you think、China. when they rolled out these stats on that screen that they did it in a slow, like, game show fashion where it's like, and the people for, and it starts with like a small number, like, doing, and it keeps building up? Yes. They pro- <laughs> yeah, but, but they did it slowly because you, you know, something about Chinese government meetings, they love to waste、oh, people's time.、Hours. You know how they love to like、yes. monologue for like, and you、they're、can see they、them. do it on purpose and they see、yeah. people getting really like tired and they don't want to be there. Then they like add another hour to their speech.、Yeah. They just maybe might read it again or、yeah. something. I think that's probably what happened with this. <laughs> so that was a unanimous vote、yes. in China. So、uh, going back to that, that one thing before, sure, just, sure. That I'll, one thing. I'll grab it back here.、Uh, it's just a little reminder. Reminder here, right after that, yeah. Yeah.、Um, the reason people, it's so shocking that people were making these disparaging comments to the CCP about Taiwan, like、yeah. making fun of the statement, is because criticizing the Chinese government on the internet can have dire consequences, right?、Uh, political,、uh, sorry, potential penalties include account suspension, police harassment, or even years of imprisonment. So we know that the Freedom House ranking of China is nine out of a hundred. Taiwan's ninety something out of a hundred, right?、Mm-hmm. These are not comparable. These are not like this one and this one. This is like North Korea and South Korea, right? Yeah.、Um, in 2020, a man in Jiangsu Province was sentenced to two years in prison for supporting Taiwan independence and making other critical comments in online chat groups. Yet many Chinese still choose to defy the party line, party line, and their voice on the Taiwan Taiwan's. So、election. here's here's something that we have to take from this. Yeah. When polls are taken,、yeah. and you get an opinion out of China, and they say the Chinese populace supports X, Y, or Z, that is rubbish. The Chinese、yeah. populace doesn't support that. They no. have no choice but no. to support that. What about so, those quotes I just read? There,、yeah. was, there was thousands of these. So if you ever see a, a tanky or someone who's、mm. pro CCP says the Chinese people believe、yeah. this is the right thing to do, no, they don't. They、no. don't have a choice. They either have to say. What's sanctioned by the government? And sure, many people will believe that, but you have to say that because if you go against the grain, you will get harassed or imprisoned or whatever. Especially、right? if you're a Westerner, if you're a Westerner and you're saying that Chinese people all believe this or that and that, like they they all want Taiwan to come back to the、yes. mainland, and they all, you know, when you're speaking on behalf of these people, what you're doing is using a pro CCP voice for people that don't have a choice. Yeah, that's. Super evil.、It's、pretty easy. All you need to do look is for some some very broken, awkward looking foreigner. Yeah, you know who's definitely him, got issues,、yeah. and you see him talking about things online and speaking on behalf of the Chinese people or the the Chinese government, and you know that he doesn't know what the hell's going on. No, you know, no. And the Chinese people think about it. Just think about it. Put yourself in that position. If your entire life you know 
that your uncle or your cousin got taken away because he said yeah. something that was a yeah. little bit risque or something. Imagine you get a poll or somebody asks, someone randomly asks you, do you support Taiwanese independence? <laughs> yeah. You're going to be like, no. Absolutely not. Even if in your mind, yeah. and maybe in your close circle of friends, right. you're like, you know, I don't give a shit about this stuff. Or, yeah, yeah or, I do. Or like, I think, people. yeah, exactly. Imagine the public opinion that comes out of that is always going to be skewed because... You can't dissent. You can't have a different opinion. You cannot have a differing opinion, you know? No. That's why it's refreshing to see in Taiwan where people can have an opinion and yes. freedom of speech that they don't agree with what Beijing says they think. No. Because they tell everyone in mainland China that most Taiwanese people want to reunify, yeah. reunify. Remember, that's not real. Want to be invaded by China, mainland China. Yeah. They yeah, say, like they, they're, they'll, you know, if you ask people that have been indoctrinated into China's education system, especially younger people, and yeah. you say, "Do you Taiwanese people want to come back to China?" They'll say, "Yes, absolutely." Yes. That's what they've been taught by their teachers. <laughs> that's what's in the newspaper. It's it's so bad that that's what the the the, the Taiwan office is making public statements about. No, that doesn't represent yeah, the mate, majority mate, of. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about exactly. Anyway, fast forward past this real quick. Okay, uh, I want to show something uh, that is is very poignant here. This happened at the exact moment oh, yes. of the Taiwan election. It was very, very, uh, it's definitely calculated. Mm -hmm. It's very, very obvious what's going on here. So what this is, mm -hmm. is while the whole world was watching the Taiwan election to see if the Kuomintang won or if the DPP did, did won. Did you see how they did the election results, yeah. by the way? They yeah. held out each ballot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really cool because it's for public scrutiny. Yes. So they, everyone they pulled out yeah. to publicly show. Yeah. Publicly show, yeah. you know, like who yeah. the results were. So there's no cheating involved. No, it's it's really it's a it's a spectacle. Yeah, and the whole world's cheering them on. Yeah, dude, Taiwan's got it switched on. Oh, man. they're it's just such a cool country. Yeah. Anyway, while this was happening, China, mm -hmm. of course, does not have coverage of this because no. again, Taiwan is part of China. Yeah, right? they're not allowed to show that. So what they do to just to make sure people aren't going to be using VPNs or whatever to hop over the wall to watch this election is they want people to be uh, distracted. Yeah, distracted. So they had the 2023, so the end of the year, um, Weibo King and Queen Awards, right? <laughs> okay. Sponsored by Oppo phones. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they had this at the exact same time, and it, people saw through this, yeah. right? Just leave it there for a second. Okay. Uh, quote, <laughs> this is just so funny to me. Mm -hmm. People were not even saying anything like super abrupt, like you idiots, Taiwan freedom or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They said, this is one guy, he says, each side does its own election, right? Obviously tongue-in-cheek, right? Yeah. But there's nothing harmful there, right? Each yeah. side, right? Each yeah. side has its own election. Uh, and to no surprise, the account disappeared. Yes. Even just by saying, like, oh, we have our Weibo award. It's yes. like Twitter awards, basically. Yeah. And then they have an actual democratic election. Without even saying that, just reading between the lines, that account was removed. Of course. They're so sensitive to this stuff. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Um, there was tons of accounts that were scrubbed and removed, and there's definitely a lot of people that probably got arrested after this. Oh, absolutely. This is a sore topic. So this is what I th wanted to cover. I wanted to cover each country's response, and I think this is really important going forward because Taiwan, to me, and I think a lot of the world, is going to be the deciding factor if we end up in World War III. You know, yes. World War III is a hot thing that people always talk about. They've been talking about it since the 50s, man. Yeah, yeah, and people and people say, hey, we're already amidst it with what Iran's doing, what you know, what's happening with mm -hmm. Ukraine and Russia and what's happening in Israel. We're already amongst it, but we haven't recognized it yet. But the real powder keg would be Taiwan, right? Sure. The, I will agree with people that um, Taiwan would be the deciding force. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. So it's important that we pay attention to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important that we listen to what China's saying or doing right now, because this was their final straw. It was like, no, the DPP gets elected and this is done. Like yeah. you're a separate said force, right? Yeah, yeah, they said that. So let's see what other countries do. Let's gauge their response. Yes, right? let's take a look. So for uh, America's response, says Blinken congratulated a lie on his victory uh, and the people of Taiwan for demonstrating the strength of their robust democratic system and electoral process. Um, the top U.S. diplomat went on to restate the U.S. policy of wanting peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait, as well as relations between Beijing and Taipei that are free from coercion and pressure. We look forward to working with Dr. Lai and Taiwan's leaders of all parties to advance our shared interests and values and to further our longstanding unofficial relationship consistent with the U.S. one China China policy, the statement said, we are confident that Taiwan will continue to serve as an example for all those who strive for freedom, democracy, and prosperity. So within the realm of our current, uh, how we recognize Taiwan, thought that was a decent response, yeah. par for the course. And of course, when he talks about the, the sort of shared um, 
uh, values, it's true, mm -hmm. because Taiwan does have the same values as most Western countries, the idea of democracy yes. and freedom of speech and, and all that stuff, freedom and so on. China doesn't. No. Just remember, no. it's not shared values. They do no. not believe in democracy and freedom of speech and freedom of choice. They don't yes. believe that. Yes. Just don't forget that, guys, when you're investing in mainland China. Yeah. If you care about these values, right? Sure. Next up, we had Lithuania. Uh, what did he say? He said together. You, you know, okay. Gabrielis uh, Landsbergis. How do you even say that? It's probably close. Well, either way, Lithuania's Minister of Foreign Affairs, sorry about butchering your name, congratulated Lai on his victory. Together with the people of Taiwan, we celebrate the strength of free and fair democracy, he said in a post on Twitter. Nice. And I also gave that a, a grin. That's a, that's, a yeah. good, that's a good score. I thought that was a nice, concise thing. Correct. Next up, we had Japan. You can read Japan. Japan offered congratulations for Lai's election and the smooth vote. Foreign Minister Yoko Kamikawa said in a statement, We expect that the issues surrounding Taiwan will be resolved peacefully through dialogue, thereby contributing to the peace and stability in the region. The statement said, For Japan, Taiwan is an extremely crucial partner and an important friend, with which it shares fundamental values and enjoys close economic relations and people-to-people -people exchanges, it said, repeating Japan's usual lines about Taiwan. And I, and I gave that a top score as well. I mean, that's, yeah. that's about as good as it gets, it's right? Nice. It's nice. nice. nice, nice, It's all about it's peace nice. and love and, you know. Peace and love. Yeah. And freedom. Next up, we had, uh-oh, we're, see, we're starting to dip here. We have oh, Canada. Canada. It uh. says, Canada's Ministry of Foreign Affairs congratulated the people of Taiwan after the election, but didn't mention lie. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Little omission. I wonder if that was on purpose. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, oh, you're fine. You're fine, but we're not going to say who won. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Guided by the pillars of democracy, human rights, and peace, Canada looks forward to advance its people-to-people -people science Trade and investment ties, the ministry said in a statement on social media platform. So I thought this was fine, like it's fine, but the fact that they didn't mention the party or who won is definitely, to me, a little more in line with like, <clears throat> let's not piss off China. Unfortunately, Canada is like one of those beautiful mansions that you see. It looks incredible. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's like a beautiful, massive big mansion, but it's riddled with termites. Right. The termites being the CCP, of course. Yeah, because I is, mean that the they've the, whittled their way in there. They you, have so much influence in so many pillars of Canada at this point. They have the government. Unfortunately, they've just run wild in there, you yeah. know. And the the Canadian government just didn't see it happening. Or yeah. They didn't foresee that it would happen. Yeah. And all the loopholes, China's taken advantage of Canada, the Canadian government, and turned the country into basically a vassal state. Yeah. And I mean, I'm over-exaggerating a little bit, yeah, but obviously. at the same time, that's literally the way it is. It's unfortunate, right. 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 you know? So, you know, you see this wonderful mansion and you want to go buy it, but don't do it. Yeah. It'll fall down. You have to restructure the whole, you have to rebuild yeah. the whole thing. To somehow expel the world's largest You have to get one of those government. tents, you know, those, and it looks like a circus. Yeah. I always found that in America. You see, yeah. like, is a circus in town? But it's oh, actually there's there, like, uh, but there's a termite fumigation yeah, yeah. going on. Yeah. You need one of those tents over there, you, you know? Fix it up, Canada. You still have a chance. Anyway, love Canada. Just not the CCP influence. Yeah. Next up, we have... Mm. Next up, we have the UK. I also put them on the same kind of downgrade level. I'll read this one. Uh, Cameron congratulated Lai and the DPP. Hey, at least he congratulated Lai, right? Yeah, that part was fine. <clears throat> On his win and said that he hoped Taiwan and China would renew efforts to resolve their differences peacefully. The elections today are a testament to Taiwan's vibrant democracy, he said in a statement. I hope that the two sides of the Taiwan Strait will renew efforts to resolve differences peacefully through constructive dialogue without the threat or use of force or coercion. The reason I give that a downgrade was because Why? that's too much focus on the whole, like, though there's problems between the stray. It's not like, you guys are awesome, your values I'd, are great. You know I'd what still I mean? put that above Canada's uh, I would, I, but they're in this, I just put them on the right, one, right, down, right. it's just one downgrade. Yes, right? yes, exactly. Anyway. They're just trying to be diplomatic, you know, and eat a cucumber sandwich or whatever I do. get it, but you still. Know? Oh, it's, I need my brolly and my top hat. There's too know? much, that that sounds to me, too much, this mm -hmm. is the way I read this, Yeah. Is, is it's like, both of you guys have some problems, hopefully you guys can work that out. It's mm. like, no, no, <laughs> no, there's one side has problems. Yeah. This is not some disagreement. Yeah, yeah, here, exactly. You know? I think they're just trying to be like, you know, you guys go sort your own <laughs> yeah, that's, that's issues out, that, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, got nothing to do with us. Good, yeah. good luck on that one, you yeah, know? Yeah. Let us know when you've resolved this, you yeah. know? I don't know about that. You know, put on the kettle, you know, put the kettle on. 
Oh, no, we got to uh, yeah. downgrade What's going France. on with France? Okay, you read this one. France congratulated Taiwan's voters and elected officials after the Taiwan election, which showed their deep commitment to democratic values, the French foreign ministry said in a statement on Sunday. And here's the, here's the thing. The ministry official called on all parties to respect the status quo and it hoped dialogue between the two sides of Taiwan Strait would resume. Oh, mm-hmm. starting to get a little shitty here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, What's let's, a- uh, let's keep the status quo. Like, don't... Don't have an identity, Taiwan. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. You're gonna you're gonna make China mad. No, Macron just wants to go get those like photos. <laughs> yeah, I remember those that. photos of like, you know, dictatorship nonsense. <laughs> oh, does, he has little a power delicious trip. <laughs> name though, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he? I always think of those colorful Me too. treats. Those delicious <laughs> almond cookies. <laughs> I don't know if oh, yeah, man. they're too sweet and tart for my taste. Oh, tart? Yeah. What? Where's the tart part? They're just I don't know. sweet. You know, like anyway. No, they, different flavors, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Mm. Um, Maybe yes. I'm just thinking about him anyway. Aww, shut up. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> oh, we got another downgrade. Aww. We read okay. German. All right. We love Germany. All right. Germany's federal foreign office on Sunday congratulated the elected officials and all the voters and candidates who participated in the elections in Taiwan. the quote is what's important. Germany has close and good relations with Taiwan in many sectors and wants to expand them within the framework of its one China policy, the foreign office said in a statement. How about you be a little nicer about what actually just transpired? Yeah. Because what you've said is within the confines of what we have, we'll grow like the money part. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Within the one China (laughs) policy. Just that, just that. Don't, nothing else, nothing else. You will comply. <laughs> Germany, <laughs> Germany with a downgrade even on France. Uh, yeah. the, EU, the EU in general showing some piss poor performance. Yeah, here, I guess guys. so. Uh, mm. Next up we have, oh no. Yeah. Oh, Rush, even, yeah. even lower. Can we go lower? We can with Ru- Reza. Yeah, what are you going to say? Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova says, commenting after the vote, said, Moscow continued to view Taiwan as an integral part of China. So when asked to commentate, hey, uh, how did you feel about William Lai's uh, free election that just transpired in Taiwan? What do you, what do you, you have a message for the people of Taiwan? Taiwan's a part of China. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yes, that's pretty much what Yikes. they said. <laughs> Well, hmm, Russia. interesting. Russia. Russia what somehow. do you expect, though? They, I know. They, I know. they depend on China for so much right What is now. it called? Like a, a, a friendship without boundaries or something. They have an official term with China and Russia, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They, I mean, they'd fall apart without China at the moment. Oh, for sure. Because of sanctions sure. and everything, right? Yeah, and China's actually trying to dodge that right now. See, what did uh, China say? Oh, no. The last, I actually, it goes beyond the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Because this is like the, the dead soul, like, yes. as a memory, like, kind of like burned into a TV screen or something. Yeah, exactly. Like burning, phosphor burning. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. what this is. That's lower. The lowest one is, of course, China, which is a separate country. <laughs> yes. Their statement was what? Taiwan is China's Taiwan. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Oh, oh man. It's literally like a like a, a scorned ex or something. <laughs> yeah. Or it's somebody who like had a crush yes. on someone and told everyone that it was their girlfriend, but they never oh. were, you know? Yeah. But they won't hear anything else. Like it's a fat, spoiled bully. That's it's that's... like Judy was my girlfriend. They're yeah. like, no, she doesn't no. even know you. So she was my girlfriend. I'll even write like proof and I yeah. make prints out a certificate that yeah, said like, Judy, Judy was my, my girlfriend. Judy is my girlfriend yeah, yeah. certificate. And he and opens Judy's like, who are you? He opens who a Judy you? is my girlfriend's club. Yeah. You know, like a membership club or something. This and he makes sure it gets obscure. all his friends. All of his friends <laughs> have to gather around to like say, yes, Judy is your girlfriend. Yes. But he's never met her. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Taiwan is China's Taiwan. Beijing's Taiwan Affairs Office spoke person Chen Binghua said in a statement carried by the state news agency Xinhua, adding that the DPP <laughs> cannot represent the mainstream public opinion on the island. But they did! You know what's funny? Yeah. Earlier in the chat, I had someone very smart, very clever, trying to play devil's advocate, and no no harm, no foul, because they did give a diff- different perspective. They said, yeah. well, maybe it's because what they mean by the whole that doesn't represent the majority thing is maybe what they meant was they didn't win the whole legislative vote. They won the president. But they didn't. They run the presidency, but mm-hmm. they didn't win the whole house, right? Sure. Um, and that's how it's separation of powers, just like in the U.S., right? Mm-hmm. And my my counter to that is this unadulterated quote, which says, "Cannot represent the mainstream public opinion on the island." Yes, yes. This is is the public opinion on the island that's because how the majority voting works. picked it. Yes, right? that is how voting works. 
You so, stupid wankers. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I would, if I was... Judy's would, never going to be a girlfriend, bro. That's merch. Judy's <laughs> yeah. not your girlfriend, yeah. and it's a picture it's of like, Taiwan or yeah, Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I like this. This yeah. obscure... It's true, ridiculous though. Ridiculous analogy is crazy. China is a freaking spoiled bully yeah. who just is never yeah. yeah no one's ever said no and he just wants Judy to be his girlfriend but she's like no I'm not interested you're ugly Shabby Chadwell says cannot represent the mainstream public opinion uh, yes they can that's yes. the whole point of democracy exactly that's literally what but they China did. doesn't understand that no because they don't even have polls for normal stuff in China like the idea of electing someone is so foreign that they try to weed that out from grassroots levels you yeah know, the public can't have an opinion no the Chinese government tells them what their opinion has to be and it's actually so bad that that's become that's become uh, acceptable. Like an idea, it's like China's system is that the government decides everything for every everyone, and that's just how things are done. Yes. That's just how they do. And things. the Chinese government decided yeah. that the mainstream public opinion of Doesn't, Taiwan yeah. is that they don't support the DPP because that's how it works there. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's crazy to think about, but that's mm. the legitimate. They had this such self confidence. This uh, this uh, what's it called? The Taiwan Affairs Office yeah. in China had such the gall, and it sounds crazy, but they had such gall to do this, and there's a very easy to understand reason, is that's just how it works in China. Yeah. You do represent, as a party official, the opinion of everyone, and yes. no one else says otherwise. So they, you, expected, they, cannot, they cannot fight against you. No, they expected the people of China to yeah. also believe that. That's why I was reading those funny comments. People are not dumb. Yeah. They're like, what are you talking about? They exactly. literally voted. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. um... That was obviously the worst opinion out of all these things, right? It didn't even come close. The China, I think, won that. But uh, more importantly was mm -hmm. the responses to this. Okay. Um, and there were some very delicious quotes because what we've seen is China kind of toning down the wolf warrior approach. You can explain wolf warrior real quick. Wolf warrior basically means uh, China decided at some point we're no longer going to play nice. You know, we've been pretending to be nice and, di and diplomatic on the West, literally go out there and slam other countries constantly yes. without ever accepting any criticism of China. So if someone says, hey, you know, China has a, uh, a human rights issue, they're like, American homeless people and gun violence. And you're like, dude, come on, can we talk about the, you're like, the hey, human hey, rights? Hey, guys. Like it, Philadelphia. Yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a person <laughs> that's like, I don't know about what's happening in Xinjiang. There's a, a genocide going There'll on. There'll be George Floyd. That's exactly that's what I was going to say. That's always the response. <laughs> yeah. Millions of people are in camps in uh, Xinjiang, and they're being completely separated from their families and brainwashed and eradicated. Their School culture. shootings. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole point is to yeah. try and divert away yeah. from China's problems yeah. by screaming at, as loudly as they can about other problems elsewhere in the world. Yeah. And I have this thing that annoys, this annoys the crap out of me. It's like a pet peeve of mine. Whenever I point something out in my videos or on Twitter or wherever, an issue in China, like domestic violence against women is a huge Big issue problem, in yeah. China, massive. I point that out and immediately an army of these people will come and say, what about America, this and that? And my response to them is, do you not care about women in China? Yeah. Do you only care about the women in America? Yeah. Or because that's all they want to talk yeah. about is domestic violence in America. Right. Or I'm Hunter like, Biden's laptop. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be like, domestic abuse in China is a problem. Hunter Biden's yeah. laptop. But I mean, at like, the end what? of the day, am, am I the only one who cares about the plight of women in yeah. China? Because they obviously don't care that women are being abused in China. Sure. They only care about America's abused women. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, fine. If you don't care about China, you don't care about Chinese people, and you right. only care about America, you do that. But don't try to dissuade me about caring about the Chinese people. Because yes. obviously I care more about them than you do. Yes. Because I want to shine a spotlight on these things so they can get fixed. Right. And talking about problems elsewhere in the world, whether they are worse or less or whatever, doesn't change the fact that there's a problem with China that needs to be addressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't... Use whataboutism to get rid of a real problem in China. You're just trying to hide it. Stop trying to hide it. Care about China. Care about your own people. So this is the quote from Xiao Qian, the guy. Uh, yeah. He's the, uh, the... Little money? <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> this guy, he spends little money on his he's haircuts. He's the Chinese diplomat. <laughs> you know? Stop. <laughs> he's a the little Chinese man. <laughs> what? Chinese diplomat yeah. to, um, to Australia. So mm. he is, he's a famous wolf warrior. He says, oh, yeah. People don't like him. Isn't no. he so obnoxious, he's this so guy? He's so mean. He's an obnoxious... He's so yeah, mean. Obnoxious. I won't say what I want to say, but he's not a nice man. No. 
Uh, as for certain forces in Australia, it's absurd and dangerous to talk about peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits while condoning and supporting Taiwanese in Taiwan independence. It is illogical and harmful to link China's internal affairs with Australia's security and safety. If Australia is tied to the chariot of Taiwan's separatist forces, the Australian people would be pushed over the edge of an abyss. <laughs> This is the quote. You see, that is Wolf Warrior in <laughs> yes. action. Yes. Now, if you've got a diplomat and they have a problem with something, they will find a diplomatic way to say things. They will not literally insult no. um, and name call and wish death and, and uh, harm on a country. Yeah. It's like he does. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, next. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have another. Do we have? We do. We have uh, Mao oh, Ning. Of course, Mao Ning. ministry spokeswoman. So mm -hmm. uh, this is in response to. Spokes egg more like it. She kind of looks like an egg, doesn't she? Why? Just her face. She looks like an egg. There's something weird about her. Like, again, just something uncanny. Whenever I see her, when she made a, when she came on the scene, there's something very uncanny, and I cannot put my finger on it. I always try to think if I always want to know if she's related to Mao. I, her name's I Mao, feel like and she's she, from the same hometown. I feel like she's definitely. Some, that's how she got her yeah. position. I just feel that way. Maybe she's AI. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, that could be it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah maybe that's it. I think mm. we figured it out. Mm. Um. Oh, yeah. So this is in response to um, uh, uh, President Ferdinand Mar Marcos, Marcos yes. Bong Bong in the yeah. uh, Philippines. Congratulated uh, Lai, Ta right? Yeah. Congratulated Lai in Taiwan, right? Yes. Uh, the Chinese foreign ministry bluntly warned that the, uh, that the island nation, which has had several tense run-ins with China in the South China Sea, should refrain from playing with fire on the Taiwan question, right? Mm. Another thing. A Chinese embassy in Japan filed a diplomatic protest after the Japanese foreign ministry, uh, Yoko Kamakawa, congratulated the new Taiwanese president on his victory. We solemnly urge the Japanese side to refrain from disrupting peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and the China-Japan relations. Uh, Didn't the they just wish said, peace and stability? Yeah. Japan literally like <laughs> wished peace and stability, but China is like condemning them for like you know. I know. Uh, anyway. uh, the United Kingdom Foreign Secretary David C uh, Cameron had praised uh, Taiwan's vibrant democracy, mm -hmm. and the Chinese embassy in London criticized the UK's incorrect actions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We urge that the United Kingdom acknowledge the position that Taiwan is a province of China. Judy is my girlfriend. <laughs> Judy is not her girlfriend. Uh, cautiously handled Taiwan-related manners in accordance with the One China, China Principle and stop any remarks that interfere in China's internal affairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just went on a field day. And I want to cap this whole situation off about how China has no option but to go to war. I don't think China's going to go to war anytime soon over this. But this is what they've said. I mean, this is their final straw, right? What I will we will see is them throwing an absolute temper tantrum. Well, it, it once again proves that China is a paper tiger and a bunch of cowards who can't yeah. Stick, stick to their word, basically. Mm. And I'm talking about the Chinese government once again, yes. for people that are dumb enough to think that I'm not referring to the Chinese government. Yes. But seriously, every time they say you've crossed a red line, this is the final red line, it never is. Mm. It, China is toothless. Mm. Absolutely toothless, yeah. the Chinese government. Yeah. Chinese government are a bunch of cowards, bullies, cry bullies. That's what yeah. they are. If, if yeah. you don't know what a cry bully is... Chinese government is a great example of a cry bully. Yeah. Someone who play, plays victim while bullying other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you're messing with our internal affairs. You messing. Judy really is my girlfriend. No. All right. Leave Stop. Judy alone. Leave Stop. Taiwan alone. Yes. Leave the Taiwanese people alone. The Taiwanese don't people don't deserve your horrible governance. No. All right. Because if you, as a as a normal, friendly person, okay, a real person, visit mainland China and live there for a while and then visit Taiwan and live there for a while, I guarantee you would prefer the way of life in Taiwan. Yeah, You're, the freedoms afforded to you are palpable. They're it's, tangible. They're not an in cult intangible cultural heritage. Like every country in the world, they face issues and they have their own issues, but it's such an amazing place. It's so vibrant and so alive and so different, mm. you know? And traveling throughout the island, and we've both done it, you live there, mm. Uh, we've both done it multiple times, traveling throughout the entire island and the night markets and everything. It's such a beautiful, amazing place. And the people are so friendly and society works so well there mm. compared to what goes on in mainland China. And I'm not saying that Chinese people aren't hospitable and, and friendly and stuff, but the the conditions under which you have to live in mainland China are far, far worse Far more restrictive, never mind the fact that you can't even access the internet and basic things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. 
in in Taiwan, it's amazing to see the parades that go on on the streets all the time, and even the stupid political things where they go shouting on a van or whatever, and then have a stripper doing a pole dance. It's pretty wild. It's a wild place, but it's awesome, and it's an adventure, and it's got culture, tangible, real tangible culture, yeah. he- cultural heritage. Um, and I'll I'll never forget. I bought a secondhand scooter, and. Uh, when I went to go get something fixed on it, we lifted up a panel that had like a good luck charm inside. You know, that mm. kind of thing. People actually believe in practice traditions and culture and religion there. There are temples everywhere. People are really, you know, it's it's just such a nice place. So a, a country like Taiwan would never enjoy being governed by a soulless government like the CCP, who would be against tradition and against freedoms and against people's, you know, freedom to practice their own traditions and beliefs. Yeah. You know? It would yep. be horrible. It would turn Taiwan into a bloody factory wasteland. Yep. So let's let's just remember that the people of Taiwan um, got where they are right now on their own without any help from communist China. Yes. And uh, they deserve to have their own identity. And Taiwanese people will tell you that themselves. Check the pills, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, who, who says that? My true love eats chicken feet. My true love eats fish heads. <laughs> and though she puts things in her mouth that I would never touch. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Just you guys, huh? Can you? <laughs> you say mom. Mom. He looks like he eats crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Neo 10 4 can't, can't do it. Neo 10 4 can't do it. This can't is definitely. He says it. He said it can't do yeah. it. This is definitely what you want, I assure. This is definitely what you want, I assure. You gotta understand, China. Wow. That's a little too much for me. Close my eyes, I can almost see it. Mm. When I take a breath, you fill up my lungs. 